Hey, hello everybody. How you how you guys doing today? Uh my name is Kayoki Pico Conway, and you're watching with the Dust Settle on YouTube. The Dust Settle on YouTube is a community-based YouTube channel. Every Friday at the same time. And today I want to talk to you about the uh the boxing match between Francis uh Iganu and uh Tarzan Fury. You know that fight happened in Saudi Arabia and everybody, all of us who are who follow boxing. Uh most people, not me, but I will give you my own perspective. Most people that follow boxing give Francis no chance against the undisputed heavyweight champion. If you, if you remember, oh, as you know, Deontay Wilder is one of the best puncher in, punchers in, bas in a boxing. And he and uh, Tyson Fury fight three times. First fight was a draw. Second and third fight, Tarzan Fury won this fight. And he won it in style. Great boxer. Francis Ngannou, on the other hand, is coming from the MAA, Miss Martial Art, or let's say UFC. He was, he's a former UFC champion, and then he's transferring over to boxing. So the fight between he and uh, Tarzan Fury in Saudi Arabia was in, in is was Francis in Ghana's first fight, first professional boxing fight. So let me give you my own impression about the fight. I watched the entire fight. I like boxing. For those of you who don't know, I like sports. I like boxing, soccer, football, basketball, ice hockey. I like all these. So that uh, uh, Saturday night, the fight happened in Saudi Arabia. Real Saudi Arabia, and you have people like Ronaldo, Kanye West, um, Mark Tarzan, I think, uh, the Prince of Saudi Arabia, and you name the stars that were there, a lot of stars were there to, 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 to watch the fight. That's my impression, right? In the third round, in the third, in the third round of the fight, in Ghana, Knock Tarzan Fury out. But Tarzan Fury always resurrects. Always resurrects from a, 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 a knockdown. He's one of the fighter, one of the fighters I've seen who always resurrects, come back and win. If you remember the first fight between him and DeAndre Water, Tarzan Fury was knocked down and he came back to draw the fight. He resurrected. I always say he resurrected because people always think that he's gone. He's not going to come back. He's not going to wake up to come back to, to, to continue the fight. But Tarzan Fury always come back and continue the fight. In the second and third fights between him and Sin Wada, he was knocked down in both fights. But the other day he came back and knocked the anti Wada out in the two fights. So they fought three times, one draw. Two wins for Tarzan Fury. Tarzan Fury, he, had a, he, he, he didn't have a great night. Somebody asked me, do you think uh, Tarzan Fury lost that fight? As I said, I'm going to give my impression about the fight. Somebody asked me, do you think Tarzan Fury really lost the fight? Do you think he's supposed to win the fight? I said, yes, Tarzan Fury is supposed to win the fight. That's the, that's the reason I gave, right? The fight... Was a non title fight. Non title fight. Non title fight. So, they were just fighting. But Tarzan Fury is preparing for a fight with Alexander Uzik, the guy from Ukraine. You don't remember Alexander Uzik just, he beat uh, Anthony Joshua twice. He beat Anthony Joshua twice, and he just had a last, he just had one more fight. So, he will be fighting. Fury in December. They are talking about December 23rd. But I'm saying that no. Francis Ngannou knocked Tarzan Fury out in the third round. Knockdown. That was a knockdown. But if you want to win a champion, undisputed champion like, like Tarzan Fury, if you want to beat Tarzan Fury, if you want to defeat Tarzan Fury, Ngannou had to knock or had to beat Tarzan Fury. And everybody had to see that, yes, you win. 
You knocked out the field, and yes, that was truth. But after that, I don't think Ngannou did a lot to win. Yes, he was impressive in the fight, but for you to win an undisputed champion that is the face of boxing right now, or one of the faces of boxing right now, you have to beat him. Let people say, yes, you beat him. If you watch the fight between Anthony Ruiz, now Andy Ruiz and Joshua, right? The first fight, when Anthony Joshua was the champion, everybody thought that Anthony Joshua was going to win that fight. It was going to be a walk in the park for Anthony, Anthony walk in the park for Anthony Joshua. Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, knocking out, and everybody in the stand, everybody that were watching the, the fight, knew that Ruiz won that fight. But the fight between Ngano and Fury, I think Ngano was impressive in that fight, but I don't think Ngano won. You might have a different view, but I don't think Ngano won that fight. I don't think Ngano won that fight. Ngano would have won the fight if I all Ngano, if I all Tyson Fury are not uh, 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 resurrected from, are not resurrected. Uh, from that uh, knockdown that happened in the, ten, in, the, in, the, in the third round. That said, I think Ngannou has shown to everybody that you can come from a humble beginning. I was reading about Ngannou that he, 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 he's from Cameroon, you know, he's from Cameroon. He went to France and he said sometime while, while in France he was homeless. But he, he liked boxing, but then he, he settled down for the the UFC, and now he wants to cross over to, he lost, he wants to come, he wants to come to what he lost, that's boxing. So one next, somebody also asked me, what is your prediction if there's a rematch between Anthony, not between Francis Ngannou and Atazi Fury? I'm saying I, I don't I'm not in the business of predicting fights, right? I'm not in the business of predicting fights because the fight that you have yesterday is gone. The fight of tomorrow is unpredictable. We have seen a lot of upsets in, 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 in boxing. Mark Thousand was not out. Anthony Joshua was saying and Anthony Joshua to Andy Ruiz. And we saw the performance of a thousand fury against in, in, in Ghana. So I don't want to use somebody's resume, you know, a, a 10 years ago resume to predict what he's going to do tomorrow. That said, if I can, if if I can give my own impression to say if there's a rematch between the two fighters, who's going to win? I would say that. I would say 50, 55 to 45 in favor of in favor of Tazen Fury. That's the reason I say in favor of Tazen Fury. Tazen Fury will be much prepared to come to fight. Although I'm not trying to say that Tazen Fury was not prepared for this fight, I'm saying Tazen Fury is going to be prepared for the next fight. 45% for Francis to win. And I'm saying 55% for 1,000 for you to win. But this is what I want to see. I want to see Ingano fighting against somebody else and see how he performs. Because this might be like, you know, his first fight and he wanted to show out, he wanted to show, you know, his belong. So I want to see what he does in the next fight. France, that's it. Tazen Fury and Alexander Uzi. Who's going away? I'm saying Tazen Fury and Alexander Uzi is also 55. I would say, no, I would say 55 in favor of Fury and 45 in favor of Alexander Uzi. And why the reason I say this? Fury is a boxer. So is Uzi. But the thing that is the last fight I saw between Alexander Uzik and the boss, 
The boss knocked Alexander Uze down. I think it was in third or fourth round. That was a legal shot. But it was a legal shot. It was a legal shot. And the referee gave Alexander Uze a lot of time to recover. But that, that, I can't use that as an excuse as to say that's why he won the fight against the boys. But between, between the both men, I think I can give the edge. Let me not contradict myself. I say I don't like to predict, uh, predict fights. And now I, I'm predicting the fight between the two men. I'm not predicting the fight between the two men because of what they did in the past. If I look at the both of them and uh, see what they have done and see what they're going to do, how they're going to perform in the ring, I'm going to give an edge to Tyson Fury. But it's going to be a good fight. They're supposed to be finalizing all of the details about the next fight. And it's going to be, they say it's going to be in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on December 23rd of this year. It's going to be a, v a good fight. Two undisputed heavyweight champions are going to be fighting. So it's going to be a good fight. But to come back to Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou are getting Fury, Fury the run of his money. You know, Fury ready to escape defeat. Francis Ngannou fought a very good fight, but like I can say this, I think to be the face of boxing right now, who is Tyson Fury, you have to beat him, let the whole world know that you really won. The night one knockdown was not sufficient, he still came back, you know, he wrestled from that knockdown and came back to fight to the finish. Kudos to, 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 kudos to Francis Ngannou and I wish him all the best in his professional um, uh, journey in uh, professional boxing. But my own impression about the fight, which I watched from the first to, to, the, to the 10th round, from the first to the 10th round, I think Tyson Fury won that fight. Folks, you're watching uh, When the Dust Settle on uh, YouTube. My name is Pico Kanwe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let me first of all use the opportunity to thank all of, uh, thank all of you guys who are subscribed to my channel so far. You know, we'll, be, we'll, we'll try our level best to uh, come to you every week, as we say, Thursdays and, and Fridays, with our, our interesting, interesting topics. So if you have any comments, please don't forget. Comment, like, share, and hit the uh, subscription button. My name is Pico Conway, and you are watching when the dust settles on YouTube. Have a great day, and have I will talk to you when I talk to you. Bye for now.